Hello, my amazing sexy mofos. This is your boy Venomy here. I really do hope you're all okay and having an amazing day so far. In today's video, I've got another Fallout 76 video for every single one of you. In today's video, I've got another camp build to show every single one of you. A train car prefab that we're going to be turning into a small desirable camp, easily movable for everybody. But before we start, if you are new around here and like what you see, then please do subscribe to join this amazing sexy family. But now let's jump straight into this. Okay, like I said earlier, this is a small movable camp. There are three YouTubers I want to actually shout out, three bigger YouTubers. Uh, we're going to start off with Final Render, Mr. Church, and DTD Gamer. Um, I've been watching a lot of camp videos, and I'm not going to lie, I got a lot of inspiration from all three of those YouTubers, so definitely, definitely check them out. Um, obviously wouldn't be surprised if you all have already, but very nice content for all three YouTubers, so definitely check them out and give them a subscribe, and just tell them that Venomy sent them. So, for this camp, the idea here is it's very compact. You need to decide what is important to you and your camp, basic needs, basic essentials, and whatever is most desirable put inside. Workbenches, food, water purifiers, whatever you need. For me, I went for pretty much every single workbench, but the PA, uh, the power armor stand. I did have it originally in between the sink and the toolbox. Um, it was a very, very tight fit, but the legs, uh, the lower legs of the power armor stand were just sticking through to the other side of the train car. It didn't look natural at all. It, it looks a much, much better outside, um, mainly because it's just too big for the train car as well. So, basic necessities was um, something to cook my food. Uh, water supply, I've got my sink and I've also got my water purifiers in, in there as well. It's four water purifiers every couple of minutes. Got my bed to get the well rested bonus, plenty of room for stashes. Um, got the actual stash boxes as a makeshift bed but then you've obviously got the, the other boxes and everything, miscellaneous items in there as well that you can use as a stash. Um, I couldn't really hide the wires too well. I was originally going to have um, a generator outside, a fusion generator, but it just looked too big to... Uh, I wanted it to be going off the inspiration that a survivor has found this train car that's been abandoned and has obviously converted it into a camp for themselves. That's the idea and that's the inspiration I got for building this. But definitely let me know what you think of it. Obviously compare with other train cart videos as well. Like, there's not much you can do with a train cart. Like most of it is gonna look the same. Like if you gotta decide, like I said earlier, what is important to you and put it inside the train cart. So essentially, just for loads of caps, you could fill it with water purifiers if you wanted to. Um, you could have every, you could clear everything out, all the decoration and things like that, and you could probably squeeze the PA system in there, the power armor stand in there, you probably could, but then you would have no decoration, so essentially it would be a mobile garage, a mobile, um, workshop, a, a workbench if you will, um, you'll just be pretty much easily movable, you can just place it down as a blueprint, everything will be inside. For me, I like these style camps as well as a prefab because they're very easily movable. So if I want to be near where they are, the nukes are dropping and hit a queen, then I can. If I want to be on the other side of the map, I'll put it in the center of the map just so fast travel is cheaper depending where I want to go, then I can do that as well. That's the good thing about these movable camps. They're small, they're very easily and fast built as well. It doesn't take long at all to build these. But let me know what you think of this down in the comment section below. I'm going to wrap this video up here. I love every single one of you sexy mofos. 
and I'll see you all in the next video.